¿Cuál es tu restaurante favorito en Brasil? Uh, en Brasil... La comida de mi madre la mejor. Ronaldinho, who is best known as the former Brazilian-born superstar soccer player, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate throughout the world. His most notable properties are located in Greece, Barcelona, Florida, Brazil, Paris, and Lake Como in Italy. During the 2014 World Cup, Ronaldinho had listed his luxurious Rio de Janeiro mansion for a whopping $15,000 a night. The five-bedroom, six-bathroom house also has a home theater, an outdoor pagoda, a yoga room, hammocks in the bedroom, Bedrooms and TVs in the bathroom. Most recently, Ronaldinho had spent five months in a Paraguay prison, and upon being granted house arrest, he spent his time under house arrest at a luxurious Palmaroga hotel in Paraguay. And apparently, he had been accused of hosting parties attended by groups of models during his house arrest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anybody. The very controversial Ronaldinho has quite the lucrative career killing it in professional soccer, garnering a net worth of $90 million. Ronaldinho's income took a huge jump after the 2003-2004 season, after being transferred from Paris Saint-Germain to Barcelona, where he earned $10 million per season. In 2006, the same year he won the Golden Ball, Ronaldinho earned $20 million from endorsements alone. His total earnings in 2006 were $26 million. He was a longtime endorser of Coca-Cola, but lost his sponsorship in 2014 after he was spotted drinking a Pepsi. The loss cost him $700,000 per year. He also has endorsement brands with Nike, EA, and more than a dozen other smaller brands, including mobile phone companies and energy drinks. He appeared on the cover of EA's FIFA Football five times. He has more than 50 million followers on Instagram alone, more than 100 million of all channels combined, and reportedly charges $250,000 for a single post or personal appearance. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clyde Smith, and today we're bringing you another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now, I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we do post a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on the gram, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next down in those comments below. All right, let's get into this video. Perhaps one of the most glamorous scenes you'll ever see in a house tour, Ronaldinho owned a luxurious estate overlooking the beach in Spain, located in Castel de Feliz. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. We even talked about it for a long time. The showstopper of this home is the spacious living room that boasts a large retractable wall, opening up to a lavish pool facility. The pool area features a profusion of quality furnishings, a bar, barbecue area, kitchen, fire pit, jacuzzi, sauna, and outdoor entertainment system perfect for entertaining. Easily, the most stunning part of the pool is that it faces directly to the Mediterranean Sea. Hey, Ronaldinho, can I uh, get an invite to this pool party? Another lavish property Ronaldinho has owned was a mansion located in Bougival, a small town located 10 miles from the center of Paris, France. This luxurious house has an area of 10,800 square feet and is equipped with a sauna facility, as well as a large indoor swimming pool. In addition, the indoor pool comes complete with a profusion of lavish furnishings, jacuzzi, and a his and hers change room. Just take a look at that oceanfront property, decked out with a beach, the most lavish furnishings, outdoor kitchen, and dual fireplaces. You'll be happy to know that the outdoor patio and terrace features a bar for those that fancy a cocktail. The stunning estate was purchased by Ronaldinho for a whopping $16.5 million. During the 2014 World Cup in Rio de Janeiro, Ronaldinho had listed his luxurious mansion on Airbnb for $15,000 a night. So what does 15 grand a night get you? Well, first and foremost, the home is located in the district of Barra to Dajuca. Barra da... Barra to do The mansion is built to a quality building standard with an area of up to 10,000 square feet and boasts five bedrooms and six bathrooms. Now, if we're talking about the goodies, the home features a number of lux amenities, including pool facilities with a jacuzzi, barbecue area, bar, kitchen, fire pit, and outdoor entertainment system. As impressive as that pool facility is, the interior of the home is equally impressive and features a home theater decked out with a large projector screen and leather furnishings, perfect for binge-watching televised sports events. 
In addition, the home theater features yet another bar for those that get thirsty. In addition, the home features a cozy fireplace and office where we're willing to bet that Ronaldinho signed an endorsement deal in his day. Probably the most interesting features in the interior is the yoga room, hammocks in the bedrooms, and TVs in the bathrooms. In addition, there's also an abundance of Ronaldinho-themed artwork throughout the home. Ronaldinho recently made headlines for all the wrong reasons. In July 2019, Ronaldinho's Spanish and Brazilian passports were confiscated by the authorities over unpaid taxes. In March 2020, Ronaldinho was detained by police in Paraguay for possessing a fake Paraguayan passport. After facing five months in prison, Ronaldinho was placed under house arrest and stayed at the luxurious Palmagora Hotel in Asuncion, Paraguay. And it appears that only the best places in the city will do for Ronaldinho. Staying at the hotel's presidential suite, the unit featured its own balcony, 55-inch smart TV, as well as a whirlpool bath and spacious kitchenette. Ronaldinho also received five-star room service, while his brother was believed to be in the executive suite, which is located two doors down from the presidential suite. In addition, all units are equipped with air conditioning, additional flat-screen televisions with cable channels, a kettle, an ensuite bathroom with soaking tub and shower, a hair dryer, and a desk. In addition, every room comes with a wardrobe and private bathroom. The hotel's luxuries do not end there, however, as the glamorous amenities include a stunning rooftop with a beautiful swimming pool. In addition, the rooftop pool comes complete with a bar and serves vintage cocktails for guests. In addition, the hotel provides accommodations to yet another outdoor swimming pool and fitness center. If that doesn't do the trick, the hotel also features a sun terrace and stunning city views in every unit. You'll be happy to know that a continental breakfast is available daily at the Palmaro Hotel. Even after being under house arrest, Ronaldinho yet again had made headlines after he had been accused of hosting parties attended by groups of models while under house arrest at a luxury hotel in Paraguay. Eyewitnesses had spotted Ronaldinho and his brother welcoming several women in in one go to their rooms until the early hours breaching both terms of their release and nighttime curfews imposed by the Paraguayan authorities due to coronavirus. I don't know, it just sounds like somebody snitching on our boy Ronaldinho. One source claimed to even see two women at a time coming to visit them, some of them famous, carrying presidents, and high quality beverages. I'ma say it again, it just sounds like somebody snitching on our boy Ronaldinho. And apparently they would party from midnight to 5 a.m. dancing and singing karaoke. It appears Ronaldinho was having a blast being under house arrest. Okay, so I think we'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Ronaldinho's homes and that luxurious hotel he's staying at during his house arrest. After seeing that fancy little abode he snagged, what did you think? Was that everything that you'd expect out of Ronaldinho? I mean, personally, I'm a huge fan of that home he rented out during the World Cup. Out of all of Ronaldinho's features, which ones were your favorites? You can even go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in another video.